Yeah, this is the it. best part. Yeah, the best part. The eating. The eating. I don't know if I like this one. You don't know if you like it? I kind of like it. Hi friends, welcome to our channel. I am Nelly, and this is Masvin Marcus. And today we're going to be adding a futuristic twist to an all-time favorite recipe. I'm talking about, of course, guacamole. To do so, we're going to be asking artificial intelligence to create a unique recipe for us to follow. With all the talk about how AI will improve nearly every aspect of our lives, we wanted to put it to the test. Make it put its money where its mouth is. Or, I guess, its algorithm where our mouth is? With guacamole! So stick around to see what secret ingredient our AI generates. At the end of the video, we'll provide the recipe so that you can assimilate your friends and family into a life with AI as well. So without further ado, let's get our recipe. To get our recipe, we're gonna ask ChatGPT, give me a recipe for guacamole, but add one uncommon yet complimentary flavor ingredient. The recipe needs to be similar to one that you can find at a high class restaurant. And here's the first results it gave us. I asked it again if it can give me another variation of the same recipe. It gave us another unique recipe, and for that, we will need to go to the grocery store to pick up a couple of fresh ingredients we didn't have on hand. And here we are, ready to prep. Yep, I have my AI generated recipe. Nellie has her AI generated recipe. We have our secret ingredients stashed away out of sight so you guys can't cheat and see it too early. Um, so I'm gonna make one, you're gonna make one. We're gonna see what we get. All right, let's get to it. Cue the time lapse. Okay, so we are all prepped and ready to throw all the ingredients together. We're going to start with this recipe here. The first thing we're going to start with is three ripe avocados, which we have completed and smashed thoroughly. Uh, next thing up is half a red onion. So the red onion will go in. Then we have one jalapeno pepper. Okay, then after that we have a quarter cup of fresh cilantro. Okay, we have one clove of garlic. Then we have a mixture of a handful of seasonings. We have a quarter teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of ground coriander. Okay, let's throw that in there. And of course, guacamole wouldn't be guacamole without some lime juice. We'll do some salt and pepper to taste, which for now I'll go a little light on the salt. Don't know how much all those other seasonings are gonna interact. A little bit of pepper be good to start and the secret ingredient pomegranate seeds all right quarter cup now I'm not too sure how that's gonna taste hopefully it'll taste awesome definitely have never had that before all right after that it's just a matter of mixing it all together right it more evenly distributed and all I'm gonna do is transfer that into a cute little bowl cool all right there's my guacamole. Let's work on Nelly's now. All right, so here's my recipe and I have three ripe avocados mashed and ready. And adding into it is a quarter cup of red onions, one jalapeno, cilantro, two garlic cloves mints, and I have seasoning here, which is a half a teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Go in there. And of course, lime juice. And a little bit of salt and pepper just to taste, to start out with. And you can add more to your taste after you try it out. And the secret ingredients, I have two with this recipe. It's mango and toasted pumpkin seeds. Mm. All right, stuff them all in there. And let's get it mixing. So now I'm going to transfer it to this bowl here. Right. So the description that the AI said 
the experience that we should taste in our palate is, says the addition of the pomegranate seeds to the guacamole recipe gives it a slightly sweet and tangy flavor that complements the creaminess of the avocado and the spice of the jalapeno. It's an unexpected twist in a classic dish that is sure to impress your guests. You want to try it first? You got to try it too? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Got to get a pomegranate though. If you miss one, then it doesn't count. You know, this is the it. best part. Yeah, the best part. The eating. The eating. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I like this one. You don't know if you like it? I kind of like it. I, I think it tastes pretty good. Once I bit into that pomegranate, um, you know, I have that. You know, it's a like yeah. I don't like that at all. Really? It's not for oh, me. Oh, man. I, but I'll still eat it. No, of course. It's guacamole. How can you know? I like that, uh, the the um, um, pomegranate in there. I actually like it a lot. And then the, the salty. I thought the seasoning wasn't going to be enough. Well, you can taste all that seasoning, too. All right. I expect yours to be sweeter. Well, what's yours say about it? The addition of the diced mango and toasted pumpkin seeds to this guacamole recipe gives it a sweet and nutty flavor that complements the creaminess of the avocado and the spice of the jalapeno. It's a fresh and flavorful twist on the classic recipe that's perfect for summer gathering and outdoor barbecue. So, let's try this one. I, I have high hopes of this one. Hope. Yep, high hopes. Yep. Mm, okay, I got a mango. And I made it. Nice, All right, here it is. Mmm. I like this one better. No. I like the sweetness and the creaminess. It's perfect. Mm. Yeah. The mango yeah, is actually... it's really good. It's really mild. Yeah, the ma yeah, exactly. The mango is like more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be kind of like a punchy, fruity flavor. Yeah. It's actually really good. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, guys. You're going to have to come on over. Come finish this for us. We got like five pounds of guacamole now. <laughs> this is really bad. No. So, you like yours. I like mine and yours. I think for my vote, I would say the pomegranate is a little bit more, a um, little bit more unique flavor to me. And this one's like a good alternative that has a little bit more sweetness and, and uh, like fruity flavor without going too far into that fruity zone. So if you guys like the video, please feel free to give it a like. Um, comment in the comment section if uh, you have tried anything remotely like this before, or if you're gonna try it after watching this video. Um, and tell us what you think of uh, how it all turned out for you guys. AI did right by me today. Do right by you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for watching. Good job.